for this lightweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mateusz Gamer. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. We'll see how Poland's Mataj Gamrot handles this particular stylistic challenge. We have seen him really excel in matchups like this. Was so good in transition and emerging on the scorecards against Armand Sarukyan in what was his first UFC main event. And now with the target on his back, we'll see if Gamrot can deliver yet again. Dos Sancho's getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. He passes the half. Oh, in the mark. Oh, he got to his spot. Just over three minutes to go now. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. He's gotta start going now. And very effective with the ground and pound. Nicely done. Gamrot's right back to the full mount here. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. He's got to be careful here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Dos Anjos is in half guard. All right, side control now. Oh, good defense, yes. Good work from the top here by Gamera. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Right. Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, three. Deep breath in for him. All right, listen. I need you to go out there, and I want you to do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns with your strike. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Oh, nice strike landed there by Gamble. The one-two punch is true. All right, so we didn't see any takedown attempts from the BJJ player in round one, and as yet, he still hasn't attempted to take this fight to the Very surprising approach by this guy. He's so good on the ground. I would have expected him to try to get into the ground earlier in the fight, but as we go on, 
it's starting to become very clear that that is not the game plan. He passes the half guard. Ooh, right into side control, DC. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll even try to get the submission or use the sweep. Well, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought the fight was over. He gets to the single column time. Look for him to now start to fight uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, nice little right hook there. All right, so high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kimura here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, you better tap or that thing's going to snap. He's got it isolated. guy has not tapped yet. That submission looks tight. It's a fight now. Who's going to win this position? Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. He let him step over to the crucifix. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Gamera. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Dos Anjos' cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Gamera. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to Ready. eat through that cut on his cheek. I'm just saying. He's got a big mouth. Canberra <laughs> <laughs> gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. He landed that inside leg kick. Oh, saw the takedown. Perfect timing there. Right into side now. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. And now, I think he's looking for a submission. He's going to start to chase the arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle is wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Choking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. And so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Under three minutes to go in our third round. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Gamrot's going for an arm here. Oh, looks tight to me. There's the tap!
Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 44 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar, Mateusz Gamer! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, 